A practical L tip. Other people's sins. When it comes to doing tshuva, sometimes we can recognize the obvious things that we've done wrong, and we can have remorse and feel bad. But there are many times that we're just not feeling it, we're not feeling connected. And maybe we don't see the things that we've done wrong or <clears throat> things that uh, are so bad. But there's another aspect, and that is things that other people do wrong. OPS, other people's sins. Rahim Kaniyasi points out that one of the Avinu Malkenus that we're going to say on Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Aser Semei Tshuva, is Avinu Malkenu Mechok Barachamech Arvim Kol Shitrei Chovoseinu. We say, Hashem, Father, our King, erase through your abundant mercy all the records of guilt, the star of our Chovos, the records of our guilt. So Rav Chaim Kanevsi points out from the, in, the, in the Siddur Hagra, what does it mean, records of guilt? So he says, it's not referring to sins that we've done, but rather sins that other people have done, but I'm responsible for the fact that they've actually sinned. For example, if somebody could have prevented someone else from sinning but didn't, well, that person is held responsible because you could have stopped that sin. Those things are called records of guilt, meaning there's a record in your file as if you have committed part of that sin. You didn't do it, but you didn't stop it, but it's held on your record that sin was accomplished through you. So how does this apply? Well, many times it's not about the sins that we stop or could have stopped from other people, but you know what? It's sins that we cause other people to do. Meaning we may not have sinned, but we cause other people to do it. We might have done something that got on other people's nerves, that got them to yell at us. We might have done something that annoyed people so much that they did something to take their anger out on us, even though it's their issue that they need to work on. But perhaps we are causing other people to say the things they don't want to say, to do things they don't want to do. Of course, everybody has free will. But perhaps when we look deeper inside, there's somewhat of accountability that sits on our shoulders. And that's why we ask, says Rav Chaim, for abundant compassion. Because we don't, usually don't feel like it's our fault in any way. Oh, so-and-so sinned. It's not my fault. He did it. He could have held himself back. No, you have to ask for abundant compassion because these were sins that were committed by other people and you don't think that you have any accountability. But in fact, we do have accountability for those and it goes in our file. So it's for us to think about other people that have done things, perhaps because of something that we may have said, we may have done, we may have caused other people to do. That needs a great level of tshuva, because we usually think it's not our fault, but it's in our file. And therefore it's important for us to start thinking of other things that we haven't done wrong, but enabled other people to do, whether it's because we didn't stop them or we caused them to do things that they didn't necessarily want to do.